Today on TFB TV, we're talking about what might be the best double stack Glock ever. The Glock 47. You won't be able to buy one on the civilian market until after SHOT Show 2023, but we can talk about it right now. James, you say, hold on a second, you're a Glock shill, and the Glock 47 is just a Glock 17 MOS. In a way, yes to both. But also, no, I want to tell you the one thing about the Glock 47 that makes it unlike anything else thus far from Glock, but I need to jerk you around a little bit with a story to keep those viewer retention minutes. So put me on mute, come back in five. Back in April 2019, Glock was awarded a contract to replace the 40 cal HK P2000 pistols used by U.S. Customs and Border Patrol, which had previously replaced the Beretta 96. It was a massive 85 million 10 year contract through 2029 and a huge W for Glock. The contract included the purchase of the optics ready Gen 5 Glock 19 MOS, you can get that, and a modified Gen 5 Glock 26 with some minor tweaks, you can get that. Civilians can and could buy those models when the contract was awarded. However, Glock surprised pretty much everyone when they publicly revealed the Glock 47 at the same time. And for that matter, the Glock 47 was almost mentioned in passing. Glock wasn't marketing it to civilians yet, after all, so there wasn't need to have a good old-fashioned Glock and Pony show to drum up publicity. The Department of Homeland Security was the only buyer for the 47. Not to mention, I mean, look at it. It's a Glock 17 frame, a Glock 17 slide. It uses the MOS optics mounting footprint. It's a Glock 17 MOS. Yeah, it's got maybe some aggressive slide serrations. It uses my favorite Ameriglow bold iron sights, but so what? Well, my brother and Gaston, you're talking to the right man right now. The Glock 47 uses a Glock 45 or a Glock 19X frame. Not a Glock 17 frame. The Glock 19X and the Glock 45 are the full-size 17-round 9mm Glock frames, but they're made to work with the Glock 19 slide. The X configuration, as it's been called, that is a compact slide on a full-size frame, has been popular with law enforcement for a number of reasons that we won't get into in this video. But for concealed carriers like you and I, we want the opposite. Right? We want the Glock 17 slide and barrel on the Glock 19 compact frame. We get the better ballistics of the Glock 17 with the full size barrel, but in a gun with the Glock 19 compact frame, that's easier to conceal. Glock has never given that to us until today. Glock 19 compact frame, your Glock 17 full size slide, that is from the Glock 47, and there you go. You've got now a long slide Glock 19. So it's pretty easy to conceal, but you've got a full length Glock 17 barrel and slide, which is kind of cool. And that's the big secret here. Think about it. The Glock 47 uses a Glock 45 frame. The Glock 45 frame uses Glock 19 slides, not 17. Thus, by deduction, Glock 47 uses a Glock 19 slide. That's true. But what Glock did with the 47 is the same thing it did with the Glock 43X and the 48. The Glock 43X is that compact single stack 9mm. The Glock 48 is the same gun, just with a longer slide and barrel, but on the same frame. The slides are interchangeable. Glock made this happen by making the longer 48 slide and barrel, except the 43X shorter recoil assembly, and that's exactly what they've done for the first time ever here with the Glock 47. The 47 secret is that it uses a 17 slide and barrel, but it uses the Glock 19 recoil assembly, and here's why that's brilliant. Neat thing about the 47, if you've also got a Gen 5 Glock 19, basically you have four guns. You have a Glock 19, You've got, of course, the Glock 47. The interesting thing about the Glock 47 is that it's made so you can swap a Glock 19 slide onto it, basically making it a 19X. That is like a 17 with a 19 slide, meaning that this uses the same recoil assembly as a Glock 19. So you can make your 19X. This one's got the Radian comp on it that they sent me. I haven't tried it out yet. So this is just like a Glock 19X, but what's even cooler is something that we've all been asking for for a long time. You can take your Glock 19 compact frame, your Glock 17 full-size slide, that is from the Glock 47, and 
there you go. So to make it clear, if you have a Gen 5 Glock 19 and a Glock 47, you really have four Glocks, a 19, a 47, a 45, and the previously unreleased Glock 19L or 19 long slide. That's the big takeaway from this video and probably why Glock will sell millions of Glock 47s. So you're asking at this point then why even get a Glock 17 anymore? There has to be someone out there, an engineer, somebody who watches this video, who could explain the physics or the benefit of why having the 17's longer recoil assembly and recoil spring is superior to having the Glock 19's, but myself, I couldn't much tell the difference between the 47 and the 17. Ryan and I took them to the range. We ran all four configurations we just talked about. We brought a couple of accessories as well. For the Glock 47 slide, I bought myself the Holosun SCS. The SCS, or the solar charging system, is one of the most brilliant things that I've used on TFB TV in a long time. This is a Holosun micro optic, micro red dot. Mine's green, but you know, you get it. I don't think it has a removable battery. I think it just uses a rechargeable battery that charges with sunlight. I think about how many times I've killed my solar G-Shock by not taking it out of the dresser in the past. So it makes me worry a little bit to have to rely on the sun to charge my battery. And I have no clue what the battery life is for it, but it worked and it was bright enough in full daylight to be usable. Maybe they should have called it the Holo Sun Birdman. On top of that, it's slim enough that you can co-witness your iron sights. Most importantly, it requires no mounting plate. I effing hate mounting plates. Yes, even the MOS. And I'd rather just screw my optic into the slide instead of into a plate that then screws into the slide. The SCS does that for me. It screws directly into the slide with the MOS footprint. No plates needed. This might be essential for MOS shooters if the battery life is good enough. Second, for the Glock 19 slide, we use the Radian Ramjet and Afterburner Barrel and Brake Combo. It's a fancy $400 kind of expensive muzzle brake and barrel combo that Radian sent me to review. When you install this combo in your Glock 19 slide, it brings the Glock 19 slide to exactly Glock 17 length, so it'll fit perfectly in Glock 17 holsters. It really does seem to work in reducing recoil from the Glock 19 slide, and I think the Glock 47 frame and Glock 19 slide may have been the most shootable using the afterburner muzzle brake. I also think that the 47 frame with the 19 slide and the afterburner was Ryan's favorite combo of the day. The Glock 47 itself was of course fantastic. Having the optic means great accuracy even further out than 50 yards. But my favorite combo was of course the least shootable one we had, the Glock 19L. That is the Glock 19 frame with the Glock 47 slide. But yeah, all of the other combos were better shooters. Of course, the full-size Glock 47 with the full-size slide and frame, it's going to shoot better than the compact frame with the full-size slide. And that Glock 19 slide with the muzzle brake, whatever you put it on, it actually shot really well. So the 19L combo wasn't the best shooting of the four that we had. However, it was still fantastic. But for me personally, I like the combo the best because it's a gun that's going to be just as concealable as my Glock 19, but with the added benefit of a longer barrel and with optics mounting if you don't have that already. We're going to have more details straight from Glock whenever we make it to SHOT Show, including pricing and availability. These aren't going to be available at least until after SHOT Show, so don't close your browser and look for them right now. But in the meantime, before we talk to Glock in Vegas, tell me what you think. Be honest. You thought the 47 was kind of lame until I told you about the 19L hack, right? Huh? Tell me in the comments. See you in Vegas.